Hello, in this short video clip I would like to show you how to enable a bidirectional interface between the Spell Excel report and a Spell database. So in this example I will use a motor data sheet, so the template that is available out of the box with the Smart Electrical. So when the report is opened, so it uh, uh, retrieves the live data from the Spell database. So I will provide you an example with the uh, motor description. Uh, so currently the pump is a description of the, of the motor that is coming from the, from the database. And if you want to modify the description in the report and get this data updated back into the uh, spell database. So I enabled here some uh, uh, button that basically will allow me to pass some properties and uh, data into the external function, external DLL. Um, and uh, commit the data into the spell database. So once I refresh the property of the motor, so I will see the updated value in the spell database. So how did I make it uh, possible in the spell Excel report? So first of all, uh, I enabled, I, I mapped the SPID value that identifies the unique uh, uh, unique ID of the of the motor, and I defined the cell name for that SPID and also uh, I define the cell name for each property that I would like to update uh, in, the, in this form and have it updated in the, in the spell database. So then I use the usual basic programming uh, to write a small function. So this is the save into cell database um, macro. So that small function basically allows me to uh, declare some parameters here. Uh, so I uh, declare only two properties, SPID and description. Uh, I um, uh, use this function on the active sheet. Uh, I define the um, uh, variables for SPID and description pointing to the uh, cell with the name SPID and description. So I don't specify the, co the um, coordinates of the cell but define by use the names because if you want to change the position of the cell okay and to drag it to another position so that name will will be dragged along okay so you don't need to change the code uh, uh, any further okay and then I uh, instantiate the the call to the external function and call the method uh, by passing those two parameters two properties into the external function uh, so what else I need to do in the in the Excel report so I need to reference to the DLL that I will discuss uh, in uh, shortly. Uh, so in under the spell comma property, uh, sorry, under the spell uh, home folder. So I uh, created the DLL and the TLB file, so and the TLB file is referenced is referenced uh, to this Excel report. So that's it. Uh, what is required to do on the on the Excel spreadsheet side, and it is done on the report. So then uh, I developed the C sharp uh, program. Uh, so this is a very small class where um, um, uh, I receive the two properties from the from the Excel spreadsheet: SPID and description. I just show the, the the message box to ensure that those two values are coming properly in, into this uh, method. And then basically I enable the API uh, call uh, that basically connects me to the spell database. And from there I find the item uh, corresponding to, the, to my SPID value and I update <coughs> the property of the motor description to the value of the description that I typed in the Excel spreadsheet. And that is committed to the spell database. So in order to uh, uh, compile this DLL, you need to ensure that your project uh, project assembly is uh, uh, com visible. So you need to select this checkbox, and also on the build, you need to ensure that the register for com interop is also enabled. So when you uh, build your solution, so you can build the solution. So it must be uh, it, it will create the DLL file and the TLB file under the uh, spell home uh, home folder okay so that will be file is referenced in the excel excel report template
So that basically it what you need to do in order to uh, enable this bidirectional interface. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.